and welcome back to some more Earthbound. And uh, looks like we're just waking up to a really annoying knock in the middle of the night. Boy, it's a good thing I didn't have school in the morning or else that would have been kind of bad for me because, you know, I need my beauty sleep being all 13 years old and everything. But yeah, that this is actually like kind of how my dad would knock on my bedroom door at random times during the day. Whenever I'm, you know, clearly busy doing shit like surfing on the internet and whatnot. And just barging in. You know, seeing a little bit of a parallel there. I mean, just in case, you know, by some off chance you might be watching this, uh, and you decide to have another demon spawn. I don't know why you would after me. I mean, let's be honest. But, you know, if by some off chance, you know, throwing out the hint. I'm gonna have to say no, because I want to go back to sleep. You see, Pokey, this is why we're not friends, because you just don't give me a choice. Why don't you say goodbye to your mom? Don't you agree, ma'am? Well, she kind of already knows I'm leaving anyway. I know the dog is unreliable, but you should take Alex along. <gasps> don't you be talking shit on Alex. That's my baby boy. Don't you be talking shit on my dog. But I think you should change out of your jammies before you leave. I don't know. I mean, it's an errand with Pokey, so it's not really that important. But, I mean, you are my mom, so out of respect, I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, you go out in front, and I'll stay at a safe distance. Thanks, buddy. Again, this is why we're not friends. Of course I want you to go along with me. You did have a choice in the matter. You could have just said no, but... It's alright. You said yes anyway because you're a good dog. It's, it's kind of funny to me, like, how... Um, in this game, even though you never see your dad once in this because he's always at work, he's way more useful than your mom because, um, he keeps track of all your money, like, like, he deposits money in your bank account for you to use throughout the game, like, you know, as needed, like, every time you fight an enemy, or, in, you know, the case of Earth Island, every time you beat the shit out of a small animal. Like this poor little crow over here. Gonna get paid to give it a concussion. But in this game though, pretty much everything is out to kill you, and I mean seriously everything. Like, you can just be walking on down, you know, walking in the woods or something. And all of a sudden, like, plants and mushrooms and trees and shit are just, like, chasing after you. Like, that poor kid. Like, he's he's honestly done nothing wrong and everything is out to just murder him. But, um, uh, you know how, like, all these backgrounds tend to be really psychedelic and whatnot? Whenever I first started playing this game, I kind of had an idea that, um... What if this entire game was actually kind of, was like a dream sequence, where in, instead of you know Ness dreaming, like throughout this entire game he's just on a really like really intense drug trip. Oh yeah, that's yeah that's nice. Thirteen year old on LSD. <sighs> where my mind goes, such wonderful places. But actually, um, as I uploaded the uh, the last video, the Aladdin Let's Play, I actually uh, realized that I forgot to finish the Drawing Club story. So, um, going back from that point on, what they did was, um, you know, for the magic carpet, what they did is they they built like a like a thin wooden platform for him to sit on. 
and they had like four of the people in the cast like like pick him up and then carry him onto the middle of the stage. But here's the thing though, given that it's a magic carpet, you would think that, you know, the people carrying him out were supposed to be like inconspicuous or at least wear like clothing that maybe kind of blended in with the background or something so that supposedly you couldn't see him. Nope. These were four girls in like fucking bright, like bright multicolored costumes. So you can clearly tell that they're like carrying him out on stage whenever he's supposed to be riding a magic carpet. I mean, not to nitpick, but that might have made a little bit of a difference. Pokey used Wolf as his shield. Way to be useful there, buddy! Like, even though Pokey is in your party, it's kind of funny because in no way does he ever help you in battle at all. Like, in fact, he's actually kind of, like, hindering you. But hey, then again, as I've, you know kind of spoiled shit for those of you who never played this game in my previous video, he ends up trying to kill you much later on. So, you know, you shouldn't be too surprised at him. Yeah, take that shit, snake. Pokey used Wolf as a shield. Like... Oh, where the fuck was I going with this? <laughs> the, my train of thought just completely went off track and just crashed into the side of a mountain. And back to Liar Exaggerate's house. Not gonna go in there because I don't feel like going... I don't feel like being touched. He might take me down to... Grandpa Feely's Naked Puzzle Basement. Grandpa Feely's Naked Puzzle Basement. Where you'll be missing your pants and you'll cry. Yeah, I'll be honest, I kind of stole that from Patton Oswalt. Yay, Picky joins me. He's slightly useful. Waste my only psychic points and heal myself, even though I probably won't die otherwise. Wait, if Buzz Buzz is like rising from the meteorite that he fell to Earth in, why is there like a light coming down on it? In the future, all is devastation. It's like the Matrix, but way less overrated. There is a well-known legend that has been passed down from ancient times. It says when the Chosen Boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shatter the Nightmare Rock and will reveal, reveal the path of light. It's my opinion that you are that boy, Wolf. You know what would, like, kind of just ruin the whole thing? If Ness ended up being one of those, you know, militant skeptics. Um, do you have any hard evidence to back up your claim there, Buzz Buzz? I'm kind of not buying this whole story. It seems really far-fetched. Like, hey, what? You serious? You don't believe me? I just traveled on a fucking meteorite. Ten years from the from the future, crash landed on this planet from God knows how many light years away, and you're telling me that you don't believe me? Oh, poor Buzz Buzz. The shit that somebody like me would have put him through. 
but it's a good thing that I'm not the lead protagonist of this game. Because I, I let's be honest, I totally would have pulled that shit with them. And we'll walk in, and strangely enough, all the enemies are gone. How convenient! Maybe it wasn't necessarily a good idea that I use my only psychic points in this thing. And there's a Starman, so until next time!